today we had our 2020 um, athletics meet, District 1. Yes, so indeed, today we had a very successful, very exciting, very competitive sports meet among the primary schools in District 1. I must say all the schools participated, that's the public schools, and then at the end, we are waiting for the results, but then it appears to be that it will be a tight one for the winning school. From the start of the, of the races this morning, we had the athletes really performing well, really giving up their best, and then uh, doing all they can to represent themselves, represent their school. And also at the end, we are looking forward to the top athletes representing District 1 in the inter-district meet. From the start of the, of the races this morning, we had the athletes really performing well, really giving up their best. And then uh, doing all they can to represent themselves, represent their school. And also at the end, we are looking forward to the top athletes representing District 1 in the inter-district meet. And I must say thank you to our um, sports coordinator, Ms. John, and also the team and all those who came to help us, including the, the media personnel who came to cover our sports meet. Generally, we believe in holistic education because there is an idea, I don't know how people tend to think that sports uh, must be divorced from education. Sports is part of life. Sometimes you stop education, but you continue with sports, you continue with life. And then education now is a holistic process. And then we want to make education part of their life. So therefore... As I was announcing this morning, I told them I expect that by tomorrow everybody will write a composition on today's event. Then I would expect the maths teachers now to do a tally with the, with the scores and the, and the medals and then do some percentage, some ratio, something with them and then to show the interest. So if we can get the students who may not be too enthusiastic about just the pure academics, get them involved in the sports, in the different um, creative programs we have and I can guarantee you that that will boost up their academic progress. So yes, District 1, we support the sports, we support the other creative programs, and we want that to go together with the academics to move the children forward. We have small schools like Debara with a school population of about 60 and you have Dempolet with a school population of about 960. So Dempolet is already, um, will outnumber them by 900 students. But yet still Debara was able to be there for every meet, including Lage and Bogus. So again, we have to commend the schools. They really came out today to participate, not just simply to say they want to win, but to give the students the opportunity. That's the important thing you do. You 
never know when you may see the spark in a child. And if you deprive the child, that one opportunity they have to be on the national stage where they can show their talent, their skill uh, that they have, then they may miss out. So again, I commend all the principals, the teachers, the PE teachers, for ensuring that all schools participated, and not just participated, but then took part in every event. Well, I just want to say special thanks again to all those who, who came by, who supported the meet officials and the technical officials, the coaches and everybody who participated. And as I said, the, the media houses who came to ensure that we had a successful meet. Over the years, you have seen much improvement in the quality of athletes. The execution of races, children are prepared better. The training schedules are more rigid, more structured. The PE teachers have been educated. We've been taken to workshops so we know exactly what exercises, what um, training regimen to uh, apply to the students. It has been a growing process. It has been a successful process. It has been a progressive and very, 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 very hard, hard process, but we have gotten the students to accept the importance of um, training and discipline, and you could have seen it here today on display. We um, came from a defeat last year to the Grosley Primary School and we're so happy to regain our title as the champions of the District 1 Athletics Meet. If you saw how elated the students were, you felt the energy, I saw the atmosphere, you would know that Dimpolet really wanted to regain this trophy and it means a lot to the school. With a hundred and eighty-five points, Grand Rivers Primary School! Give it up for Grand Rivers! Top five finish this year. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you all make it some nice, put on and have do something, okay?